Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Gilbert and I wanted to share a special technique I've learned for creating amograms in Adobe Illustrator where we can have Illustrator make a live copy of your design and have it automatically keep adjusting uh, that copy as you continue designing your ambergram. Now hopefully uh, you are already familiar with ambergrams and Illustrator uh, so it's easier uh, to follow along with me. Now if you're familiar with amograms, uh, you are aware that you only need to design the first half of the word uh, and then copy, paste, and rotate that portion uh, to the end of the word. Um, and each time you need to make an adjustment to any portion of that, uh, you will need to recopy, repaste, and re-rotate and position it um, over and over and over again. Uh, so this um, gets very uh, time consuming. Um, this is the same for reflection uh, ambergrams, um, but instead of ro making a rotated copy, you're making a reflected copy. Um, but it is is the same. Uh, once you adjust a portion of the word, you will need to recopy, re-reflect it, and reposition it back into place. Um, now I've learned that Illustrator will automatically do all this copying, reflecting, and pasting, and rotating uh, all for you. Um, in real time. Uh, so as you make an adjustment uh, to the first half, it will uh, make the adjustment over here. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. Um, the process uh, is easy to do. Uh, it is only three steps. Uh, the first step is to create a box around the artboard. Uh, the second one is to click the, la the layer target icon. And the third is to uh, make a, a transformation uh, effect. Uh, this process uh, can be used uh, for uh, rotational ammograms, vertical reflection ammograms, horizontal reflection ammograms, and if you so ch uh, choose to do, uh, you can make a vertical and horizontal reflection ammogram at the same time. Um, so let's start with uh, rotational uh, ambergrams. Uh, first, I've, uh, as you can see, I've already created an artboard uh, for this, and I've already created a layer uh, to work on for the rotational uh, ambergram. I've already uh, started uh, the first half of the word noon, uh, just to get the uh, ball rolling, and let's, uh, let's get at it. Uh, first, let's create a box around uh, the artboard. Um, but for the box, I like to have no fill or no no stroke. Uh, this just makes the box uh, kind of invisible as you're working. Uh, so let's click this box around uh, the artboard here. Uh, and that's the first step. Second step is to click on the layer uh, I, uh, target icon, which is this circle here that's uh, on the layer. And once you click on it, it adds another circle uh, to it, uh, letting you know that you have selected it. And for the third step, uh, we'll go to Effect, Distort, Transform, and Transform. And for the rotation, uh, we'll make this 180 degrees. And we will always need one copy. And then we'll hit uh, OK. And that automatically made a copy on the right side. And now, uh, first off, deselect this box so we can uh, leave it alone. And now uh, I can adjust this any way I want to and it will automatically adjust whatever I'm doing here and and we can cross this horizontal line as you can see it's pretty cool stuff um, now if you want to adjust the letters themselves we can do that too we can grab these points and adjust them as so so pretty neat uh, you can draw inside the box, and it makes the, the proper adjustment for you. Pretty neat. All right, so as long as you stay within the art box, uh, the process works perfectly. Now, if you go on the outside um, of the box, um, that's when things kind of it messes up uh, the, uh, the the technique. It kind of messes up the alignment of it. So once you uh, if you draw on the outside of the box. It, it messes it up. Um, so I'm going to control Z this back. Yeah, so as long as you stay in the box, uh, you are good to go. Now I will su uh, suggest that you should only work on one uh, side uh, of the design um, because since this is only a copy, I cannot 
select any of this over here. Uh, if we go to view outline, you'll see that it does not exist on the outlines. Um, I can only adjust what's over here. So um, if you have uh, lines drawn everywhere, it may get a little confusing once viewing it what you can select or, or what you cannot. Um, so I would suggest just uh, having everything all in one place. Now if you wanted to make uh, adjustments to this layer instead of this layer, uh, you would just select the whole thing including the, the box you drew at the first and you'll rotate that. Now everything that you've done is on the right side and we can see that by going to outline. Everything's over here now. Now you can adjust this letter and it will be affected on this side. Uh, so that's basically um, how this um, effect works. And I think this is a, an essential uh, process uh, for creating um, ambigrams um, from now on. Uh, I've been designing ambigrams since uh, 2006 and I've never <laughs> used this process. Uh, but it sounds silly that this process was always available, uh, but I just uh, was unaware of it. Um, let's move on to vertical reflection. Uh, same process, uh, just a different click of a button uh, needed. <clears throat> so let's first um, click on the, the new layer that I've created uh, for it work, working on. And I've already created the first half of the word wow. And let's uh, select a box, and again, no stroke and no fill, and let's select this around the artboard. That's the first step. Second step, again, is to uh, select the target icon on the layer, op layer that we're working on. And then move over to Effect again. Distort and Transform and Transform. And we're going to select the Reflect X button. Now you can think of this as the vertical reflection button and uh, the, ref the reflect Y you can think of as the horizontal reflect button, which I'll show you how to do uh, next. Um, so let's just uh, select the reflect X button and as always we want one copy here and we'll hit OK. And that automatically made a, the copy of this uh, portion. Now deselect off this box here. And now we can move this wherever we want to, up or down. And again, we can select a stroke and make the adjustment, and it automatically moves it over here. Uh, this is just so phenomenal uh, to me. Uh, it makes things so much faster. And you can click, and it does its thing. And you can even draw with it if you want to make a smiley face. <laughs> you can um, even do that. All right, so the same process is the same for uh, making a horizontal um, reflection ambigram. I've uh, created the first half of the word echo, and if we click on uh, a new layer, I've already made a new layer for the horizontal reflection, and let's create a box around the artboard first with no fill and no stroke around the artboard and go back to layer and we will select uh, the target icon go to effect distort and transform and transform and we'll hit the reflect Y button and as always we want to make one copy and hit OK. And we are going to deselect off the box that we created. And we can reselect the letter and we can maneuver it however we want to. You can even cross that line there. And it makes the exact copy for you. And you can make move some points around. And you can draw circles and do whatever you need to do. All right, so that's horizontal reflection. Now, just for fun, I've created. Uh, I, I'm going to show you that you can make a vertical and horizontal reflection ambigram at the same uh, time. Uh, here, I've created half of the word "wow." 
which will then uh, reflect uh, horizontally and make the word mom. And if I I've created a layer for th for this here. And let's do the first step, which is making a box with no fill or no uh, stroke around the artboard. And then go back to the target icon that's on the layer you're working. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. And we will select um, Reflect X and hit one copy. Say OK. So it's made a copy of, of, of this portion of it. Now uh, let's go back and add another effect. Distort, transform, and it will ask me if I want to add a new effect. And yes, I want to add the new effect. And now I will select the Reflect Y button. And I will say Make One Copy. And it does that. Now, uh, only this portion is what I've created. Uh, Illustrator is, has, is making a copy of everything else. And let's deselect this off the box and reselect the word. Wow, and if I move this over, it is making exact duplicates of everything. And if we go to View, Outline, you can see it's only, I can only adjust this portion of it. Now we can go back to view and I can make adjustments for everything as you can see and let's move everything back into place let's move that back and let's re reconnect the O Now once, um, now once you like everything and you want to make adjustments uh, for everything else, all, you, all that you need to do is select what you're working on and go to Object, um, Expand Appearance. And now I can adjust everything. And so you can change, yeah, um, change the color, do, do what you need to do. If you need to um, break something apart, You can do that. Um, um, so that's uh, basically uh, the process um, uh, to use Illustrator in this new way of creating um, ambigrams. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully uh, it was, this was helpful and enlightening to you. And um, let me know um, if you have any questions um, or comments. Um, thanks for watching.